If you're enjoying the content, make sure you subscribe, like, leave a comment, and share. What's up, everybody? This is Doggy Diamonds, and you are now watching the Interlude TV. So Suge Knight, as you know, has been doing a podcast called the Collect Call Podcast with Dave Mays and Breakbeat Media. What the hell? Just drink some vitamins, I, liquid vitamins. Uh, anyway, so yeah, uh, Suge Knight has been doing a podcast. I think he's on his sixth episode with Dave Mays and Breakbeat Media called the Collect Call Podcast. And in this podcast, he said something about Diddy. But not only that, in the podcast, he said he knew about Diddy beating women. But he also released this picture of himself playing with Justin Combs, Diddy's oldest son. And then you see this picture right here. These legs that you see right there are allegedly the legs of Misa. Now, why is this a big deal? Because when this picture was taken, this is during the height of the East Coast, West Coast issues. So during this time of them having this East Coast, West Coast thing, Diddy Baby Moms was hanging with Suge. And I'm going to say allegedly, I'm going to say what I heard. Allegedly, the person that hooked Suge Knight up with Misa was none other than Mary J. Blige. You can ask a few people. I heard I heard it. And I think somebody else has said it publicly. I don't want to put their name out there. If they don't want to stand on it and say nothing, then they don't have to. But that's what I heard. It was Mary that did that. Allegedly. Allegedly, it was Mary. Let me say that, right? So that has to be confirmed. But it also has to be denied. So many times when y'all people do these interviews, why y'all don't ask people certain things? You know, not saying you got to be messy or ask things, but, but but ask people real questions. But 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 that's besides the point. We're not going to go there. So also, also to show you further proof. Shout out to Hip Hop DX. You know, my favorite source for hip hop. It was previously revealed by DJ Quick that Hilton hung out with Knight and Death Row. The Death Row Crew on the night of the infamous 1995 Source Awards, which where the photo could have been taken. So this was the same night where Diddy was dissed by Suge, and Suge was like, if you don't want to, your executive producer all in the videos, dancing, all on the records. Come to death row. This was that same night that Shug said that. So you mean to tell me that night that he just did he, his baby mother took herself and her son and hung with them? Nah, fam. This is crazy. So DJ Quick speaking on Quest Love, Quest Love Supreme podcast in 2019. Quick said, we were there and Shug had Misa come over. Diddy's baby mama. A lot of people don't know this. I'm going Shug. What are you doing? Like, what the fuck? That's Diddy's baby mama. She was just like hanging out, whatever. So that's deep that DJ Quick is saying she was there. But I heard she used to get, used to get food out. To, I like to say food out too. I know it's flown out. She used to get food out to LA too. And if you watch Death Row Uncut, Watch Death Row Uncut. I don't know if y'all remember that DVD that came out in like 2000. Death Row Uncut. Suge Knight says to Tupac verbatim, I only fuck Diddy, baby mother, because you fuck Biggie, bitch. I don't know if y'all remember that. But, um, you know, honestly, when you start messing with people, kids and all types of stuff like that, the gloves is off, but damn, like the, the the biggest robbery in hip hop was this so-called East Coast, West Coast thing it was really Bad Boy versus Death Row. Really wasn't even Bad Boy versus Death Row. I believe it was Diddy versus Suge, and then they draw Big and Pac in it. Um, Pac know what happened to him in New York. He know who did that. You know, facts. Um, Diddy, Biggie didn't have nothing to do with that. That's a fact. But for marketing purposes, it all worked out. Plus Diddy. 
and Suge had previous issues. So it all worked out, but it didn't all work out because the end result was the end result. But during the height of the issues, during the height of the beef, you let that man's son play with his biggest rival because the rivalry was up by then. Because remember on the, the um, Source Awards, before he said what he said, Suge said, want to give a shout out to Tupac, 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 what the hell? Give a shout out to Tupac, tell him to keep your guard up, we riding with you. Why did he say that? And then he dissed Diddy right after that. See, people don't pay attention to a lot of stuff, but I pay attention to detail. But go back and review the tapes. Find Death Row Uncut. I think it might be on Daily Motion. Death Row Uncut. That's the name of it. Yeah. So I want y'all to check that out for yourself. But, ooh, this right here, man. I, I, if I would be somewhere mad as hell. So, um, Misa, you wrong. You wrong. But yeah, this is Doggy Diamonds. This is the Interlude TV. Make sure you subscribe, you like the video, you leave a comment, and you share. Until next time, I'm out. Make sure you watch the new video right here and the recommend the video. And if you hit the logo in the middle, you'll subscribe if you're new here. Peace.